In today's video, we're going to talk about the newly discovered war flag of Swift Warriors, a discussion about what flags might be coming next, and of course, the reveal of the September Mysterious Island. Let's get into it. All of these screenshots and more can be found on the blog post over on HeroWarCentral.com. That's linked in the description box down below. Only, it's only a game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and we've got a new flag for the first time in a little while, the war flag of Swift Warriors. Very curious that this is coming. I didn't realize that we were going to be adding new flags, but obviously, why not? And since this is specifically for warriors and speeding up their cooldowns, remember the cooldowns are referencing the green, blue, and violet abilities, not the ultimate abilities. Ultimate abilities are still determined by your energy gain, you know, via being hit, dealing damage, hitting kills, all of that. But uh, the presence of the warrior keyword here suggests that all of the classes, tank, healer, mage, etc., will all be getting a flag like this in the future. And after all, why not? I would imagine that we might see some additional patterns in the future as well. I'm also a big fan of the change of the artwork. It makes it easier to look at and know which is which once you get these memorized, of course. And I unfortunately don't have any of the flag chests in my inventory. I'm assuming that this new pattern is not in the flag chest, but we will find out soon enough. Now, this mysterious island for the month of December is data mined by Hero Wars Simulator, I suppose. It's been shared with me a dozen times. And taking a look at the timer in game, we have about a day and five hours until the new map goes live. So make sure you're saving up your moves for the new map or, you know, spin the moves on the old island uh, if you have not already. Now, what's a little different about this map than others is the presence of these logs. You need a stack of wood to get across these bridges. And right now, there are only two sets of bridges. There's a two-piece bridge right here and a four-piece bridge right here and you can get the two stacks of lumber right here it costs an extra move each which is super unfortunate because you might not be interested in grabbing these other rewards a red chest is not bad but um, you're gonna have to definitely go over here to get the wood if you want to leave this small central island of course you're rewarded by getting a thousand emeralds and up here you get you know two thousand emeralds once you get there but four locations means you have to get all four stacks of wood going around clockwise one on the top left there's one over here in the far right east there are two over here on this left side boom and boom you got to go all the way around the map collecting all of these pieces of wood in order to get to the final location and it appears like one of the old style pieces of art for the map i am guessing I am guessing that the new flag is right here, but I'm hoping that this war flag chest right here will allow us to pick the new warrior flag. Uh, and that way, free to play players have access to it very early on. And if it's not in here, if it's not in here, I would imagine they will add it to this chest in the future. Now, take a look at the other towers. This is obviously the first tower that you encounter. Armor pattern with this, um, with this flag chest. You have the triple pattern down here, another triple pattern, a single pattern and 15,000 skin stones. Triple pattern, triple pattern. These are hidden chests off to the side. Uh, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you have 20,000 emeralds. So you're going to want to go down here anyway, plus a pattern. And there are a mix of red and orange chests throughout. The red chests and the orange chests both have a chance to give war flag chests as well. So be mindful of that. Uh, continuing up and around, we have this pattern with 100 absolute artifact chests. A couple more triple patterns. We have the tower that's close to the center island right here with 1,500 of the crystal item, uh, a, a dodge pattern. And then, of course, the bridge and finishing it off up here with 500 thread and a couple of other items. I am curious. I am really curious how they're going to do this. But my guess, again, is the new flag is going to be up on this island by itself and it won't be in the flag pattern chest, at least not in the beginning. My guess is two or three months from now, it'll be added in and they'll release a new class pattern. But how about those warriors? A lot of you understand the power of the warrior. I know that you all know that I love warriors. My boy Kark getting 5% faster abilities, pretty strong. Unfortunately, he only has one active ability. The other ones are all based on knockups. This one is gaining health whenever enemies are knocked up. This one is doing damage when enemies are knocked up. And this is the actual ability to knock enemies up. So he only has one active ability that's gonna happen a little bit more. This is a nice physical damage blocker, but you have a bunch of warriors in this game that are absolutely fantastic. 
One of the most popular warriors in all of Hero Wars right now is the hero Ishmael, being able to dodge attacks more frequently. But again, Ishmael only has one active ability that can be sped up. These other two abilities, this is just vampirism all the time, and this is just something that uh, activates on every third hit. His attack speed is an increase. The 5% doesn't increase his attack speed. It increases the cooldown on abilities. As you take a look at all of the warriors, a lot of them are like that. They don't have a ton of active abilities. Really, those more popular ones only have the one active ability plus their ultimate. But, you know, some of the other ones, looking at Kayla, none of her abilities are active. This is just a modifier on her basic attack. Attack. This is just her health. This is like a health thing that she does. And this is something that happens after her health thing as well. So Kayla doesn't have any speed up abilities there. Ching Mao's got a nice ability that blinds the nearest enemy with a physical attack. She also has this ability right here. And I think the Ching Mao teams are going to take the most advantage of the flag out of all of the warrior teams that you can build. Ching Mao is the original tank buster and this ability is why. Tristan also is getting a couple of cool abilities sped up. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what heroes you think are going to be the most impacted by this new flag. I am thinking that I'm going to collect it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it much. I just don't use many heroes that can gain a lot of benefit from it. But um, all of these screenshots and more can be found on the blog post over on HeroWarsCentral.com. That's linked in the description box down below. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.